Hi guys, Ali Taylor here, and today I'm gonna to talk about a little training aid that's really gonna help you hit straighter golf shots than ever before. So you see lots and lots of different golf shots from players. You see big hooks like that. You see big, big slices like that. Right guys, so you saw those shots there and I've spoken in previous videos about how it's the relationship of where the club face is pointing and the path the club's traveling on and a huge influence on that club face is our lead wrist position throughout the golf swing and making sure that the wrists hinge correctly to give us the best control. Now I've got a number of pieces of kit that aren't always the, the cheapest bits of kit but really, really accurate feedback. But today we're gonna to talk about a little swing aid that's fairly inexpensive that just might give you the perfect feel as to how to use your wrist during the golf swing to hit straighter golf shots than ever before. Right, so the piece of kit we're going to use today is the True Swing Pro. Now, lots of you guys watching, this isn't going to be revolutionary. You will have seen these before. Perhaps you haven't used it correctly before. Maybe you haven't understood fully what you're doing. But I'm going to show you just very quickly how you put this on your club correctly, how it's going to help you get that feel in your golf swing of what you need to do. And then I'm going to show you some track man numbers and show how hitting shots with this, even practice swings, is going to make you have much more control on the club face and therefore much more control on where the golf ball's going. Okay, so you pop the True Swing Pro onto the grip and we want this to sit so that as you hold the club, it's very, very close to your index finger. If it gets too far down the grip, you're going to have to be very, very excessive with how you use your wrists. And the way we need it to set onto the golf club is that as you look through that little gap there, you need to line it up with the leading edge of the golf club. Right, so once you've popped it on the club, literally just get it on there, put the little nut back on. Tighten it up. We don't want it moving around when we're making our swings. And as you tighten it up there, we can see the little plastic bit around the back just closes up and it keeps it nice and secure on your golf club. So as we swing back, what we're looking to do is we're looking to get this black part to touch our forearm on the way back certainly halfway back waist height, maybe even a little earlier for some of you guys, and then remain in contact until you get to the top of the swing. And what you'll see from there is that wrist position then is in a really nice neutral position. The club face is nice and neutral, and from there, you should hit straighter shots. <laughs> right, so one silly little thing that I actually quite like is a lot of the swing aids that have been like this just come with the plastic, and still as it sounds, that little bit on there just to make it a little bit softer it's going to be much more comfortable and probably encourage you to use it that little bit more okay so what i will see with a lot of golfers is as they swing back that would either go on top of the forearm when that wrist position is becoming too arched or it'll come inside and there's a lot of cupping of that wrist now the problem is there two cupped the club face is wide open and too arched the club face is too closed and you're going to have to really really compensate so what we're looking to do is as you swing back we're looking to get that in contact with the forearm and as we swing back that's perfect we can get to the top and then we can swing down from there and i think for a lot of golfers it's such a change of feeling that they're getting in from there that as we look face on we get that in contact early, we can turn to the top and then swing down. 
So now I'm going to hit a few shots on Trackman and we're going to see what the club face, now it's under control, is like and also how my swing path maybe changes as my club face is more neutral. Okay, so I'm going to have a couple little practice swings. Feel that in contact and then down. Okay, so definitely one of my little characteristics in my golf swing is the club tends to get behind me a little bit too early and you can see that would get miss my forearm on top. I tend to get my club face a little bit closed and anyone that's seen my videos will remember certainly historically I tend to miss a lot more left rather than right. Right, so definitely with me it feels like the club is kind of working a little bit more up in my backswing rather than round me. And that's definitely something that I do work on and this is just great simple feedback. So from there, that feels nice and easy. And then let's see if I can replicate that when I'm hitting some balls. It's a good looking shot. We can see on track man there, just a little baby draw, don't mind that at all. And look at those numbers, very, very neutral. So again, I'm going to set up, get a little feel for it in the backswing, and then try and hit a shot. Again, nice and accurate. Again, we can see on Trackman there just how neutral that club path is, and very, very straight with the club face. So, like any training aid, it's only good if I can then replicate those shots because I've now got the feeling. So we're gonna slip this off, undo the nut, and this is why I like it, it's quick, it's simple. Literally, that slides off the club pretty easily. My grips are a little bit thicker, so it's a little bit more snug. So I've got the feeling. Let's try and replicate that in the practice swing. That's really, really good. Felt very, very simple. It didn't feel quite as good. Certainly felt maybe my hands got a bit more involved at the bottom of the swing. But we see some great trackman numbers, so let's go one more of those and try and replicate that feeling that the True Swing Pro is giving me. I didn't feel the best contact. So a little bit more from the inside, but still a very, very straight shot. And like I said, if you've got good use of the way your wrists hinge, and certainly that wrist position towards the top of the backswing, if the club face is nice and neutral, it's just incredibly easy to deliver the club nice and square and not have to compensate with your swing path. Right then guys, so you can see a fairly simple training aid. I'm going to pop a link down below. I know I need to review more training aids because there's lots of you guys out there who watch all the stuff on YouTube, you know, for myself and all the other guys. But sometimes you're not 100% sure kind of what you're working on, things like that. But if you can control the club face because of your left uh, lead wrist, left wrist for right handed golfers, something like this can be really, really helpful. It's dead easy to pop in your golf bag and a little bit of practice with this could make a massive difference to the way you deliver the golf club. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it, comment below, and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's content, click the button below, ring the notification bell, and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.